Hi everyone, welcome to Make the Supervised Learning in Computer Vision tutorial. Uh, the organizers are Rodrigo Benenson from Google Zurich and Seung Jun Ho from Navier and myself, uh, Hakan Bilan from University of Edinburgh. Um, so we live in exciting times for computer vision researchers. In the recent years, we have uh, achieved quite remarkable progress in multiple computer vision tasks. So perhaps one of the well-known uh, tasks, such task is uh, image classification in the ImageNet ILS VRC challenge, uh, where um, multiple methods have shown to outperform human level performance in the recent years. So um, you can you can say that um, the the recent progress are or make, maybe we can say the main driving forces for the recent progress are deep learning and um, large-scale labeled data sets, such as uh, ImageNet. And the researchers have seen uh, this trend and came up with um, more detailed uh, annotations. So we have ImageNet with lots of uh, image level labels and boxes. We also have uh, MS Coco, Open Images, Cityscapes with um, uh, more detailed annotations such as uh, pixel level labels, bounding boxes for uh, multiple categories. So one trend you may see from this slide is when we have more detailed annotations, more accurate than annotations such as Cityscapes, um, we have less detailed images and for, uh, for less categories. So if you look at the reason in more detail, um, so here you can see different levels of annotations. And so basically when we want more detailed annotations, this takes more time to annotate and it's at the same time more uh, costly. So for instance, for image level labels, for, such as motor, bike and person in this image, it may take one second per class. And when we have uh, when we want more um, uh, detailed annotations such as boxes or pixel level labels, this takes longer time according to the paper listed below. Um, so if you think about this, this doesn't scale up when we want uh, to label in a detailed way with pixel level labels, for instance, more categories. So one of the way to address this dependency, to reduce dependency to labels, to labels and reduce the cost is uh, weak supervision using weak supervision. So which is basically, which can be defined as a lower degree of, uh, using lower degree of annotation at train time than the required output at the test time. Um, let's have a look at it more closely for three computer vision tests. So I'm here showing uh, standard annotation uh, level for image classification, bounding uh, object detection, and for semantic segmentation. So you can see that, uh, for example, for um, image classification, the standard supervision is uh, image uh, level labels. For object detection, it's bounding box uh, for each instance. And for semantic segmentation, it's pixel level labels during training time. And in test time, uh, we require same level of uh, detail uh, from our uh, method. So I call this blue dash line regular supervision. Sometimes it's called fully supervision as well. So the bottom of this uh, dash line is strong supervision. So when we have more detailed annotations during training time than the required uh, output uh, than the test time. So in the test time, and so the our tutorial looks at the upper uh, part of this uh, dash line. So we, uh, our focus in this tutorial are having when we have uh, less detailed annotations in um, train time than the test time. Okay. Um, so perhaps this can be better understood. The problem we are looking at can be better understood when we contrast it to other similar problems, related problems. So one of them is weak. Uh, sorry, uh, semi-supervised learning. So uh, the figure explains the main idea, illustrates the main idea. So in the supervised setting, for example, uh, when we look at object detection example, the regular supervised learning uh, 
um, requires to have bounding boxes uh, in uh, train time for all the images. So in the weekly supervised learning, we have only image level labels, for example, one example of weekly supervised object detection. Uh, so all images have this image level labels. But in the semi-supervised, classical semi-supervised setting, we have boxes for a set of images, and then we have, a, we have another set of images where we don't have any labels. So and another hybrid approach that combines semi-supervised learning with the weekly supervised setting is um, we have a set of labeled images with boxes. We have also a set of weekly uh, labeled images with uh, image level labels. OK, so, uh, so our uh, tutorial mostly looks at the, this pure weekly supervised setting. So another um, realistic case is we may have images and labeled for with labeled with um, let's say regular uh, labels in this case for object detections the labels. So but only for some categories. For example, in this example we have uh, bounding boxes for person and by categories. Also we have another set which is weekly um, annotated for uh, certain categories such as dog. So the, basically, the previous work has focused on this hybrid scheme, learning uh, st the standard supervision object detectors for some categories, and then transferring this knowledge to uh, with the supervised categories. So this can be perhaps a more practical setting than pure uh, with the supervised setting. And um, so in the uh, first uh, two uh, talks, we will focus on only the um, pure um, with the supervised setting. But then Rodrigo will, in the third talk, talk about uh, this hybrid schemes and also human in the loop. So, but all the ideas presented in other talks also will be relevant and useful. Uh, some of them will be useful in the hybrid setting as well. Okay, and uh, lastly, uh, another related topic here, which is very popular in the recent years is self-supervised learning. So typically, in a self-supervised learning, we define a pre-text task. So this can be, for example, um, predicting the um, relative location of an image patch, or it can be uh, predicting the orientation of a given image. And the idea is once we define this pretext task, we can train our deep network on this task without any manual supervision. Then we can transfer the learned weights or the representations to a downstream task. So, and to uh, do the transfer learning in the downstream task, we typically use the regular annotation. So, different in the weekly supervised setting. We only use the weak supervision, uh, so we don't use the regular supervision. And so the commonality between these uh, problems are it, uh, they are both reducing the annotations at different uh, levels. And we can also say that they are complementary. One can simply plug in a network to which is pre-trained in a self-supervised way to weak the supervised way. And then you can learn an object detector, for example, with image level labels. Okay, so um, so what are the challenges in this problem? Um, so we have these typical challenges, which are uh, also valid for uh, typical standard supervised methods, uh, object recognition methods, such as um, with, uh, in class variations. In this example, you can see that. All these images are labeled with motorbike class, but all the motorbikes look different in appearance. They have different viewpoints. They have uh, different scales, and the instances have different scales and uh, aspect ratios. And their backgrounds are sometimes simpler or sometimes cluttered. And also sometimes you can see that objects are, are occluded by other object instances, or maybe they are um, occluded by themselves because of the viewpoint. So more specific challenges for the weekly supervised learning is uh, 
uh, so it has slated in this image. So uh, in this images, so you can see these images are labeled with person class in Pascal work, for example. But when you want to define what is a person, it's quite ambiguous for a vector supervised learning because uh, so you may easily think that the common thing to all of these images are face and upper body. So in some images, you can see the rest of the bottom body. So, but what we are uh, uh, aiming to achieve is actually detecting the whole uh, body with the face, the so whole person instance. So another ambiguity comes from the curriculum. So, when, so in this example, we have trains with rails. And uh, so you can see that these, are, these images are uh, labeled, though labeled only for train category. Um, so all of them have rails as well. So then it is again ambiguous uh, whether context should be included in the uh, train category or not. So uh, another uh, issue is when we have multiple instances, for example, here all the images are labeled with ship category, but we don't really know how many ships exist in this image. And also, uh, we don't know what does ship mean. So it, it can be always two ships, or it can be multiple ships, or it can be a single ship. So my main, our main message here is uh, the supervisor is ill post and because of these ambiguities. So in the first talk after this intro, I will focus on object detection, uh, which uh, concerns to predict bounding box at this test time with only image level uh, supervision at train time. So I will look at uh, review ideas from 50 papers, 50 plus papers um, in my talk. And I will show how uh, the previous papers deal, what they propose uh, to uh, address these challenges. So I will also provide a common framework to all the weekly supervised problems and I will discuss the challenges and existing solutions. And then Rodrigo will follow a similar approach for weekly supervised semantic segmentation, where we may have image level labels or bounding boxes at train time. Uh, and at test time, we want to uh, estimate pixel uh, labels. So Rodrigo will also share his insights from multiple papers, four to plus papers. He will also define a common framework. This will help you to read and perhaps write, perhaps write weekly supervised papers. And he will also um, uh, discuss uh, different um, um, ways of uh, doing uh, semantic segmentation and instant segmentation. Then Rodrigo will move to perhaps a more realistic setting and he will uh, show the gap between the papers and what is done in the practice and he will describe active learning strategies again for object detection and uh, semantic segmentation and obtaining their uh, annotations and then he will uh, present some uh, representative papers from this problem. Then June will talk about the evaluation problem. So Victor uh, supervised learning, as we discussed, is an impulse problem. So he will uh, uh, present a critical view on the current evaluation process, uh, practices in Victor supervised learning. And then he will uh, propose a new and more fair evaluation methodology. And he will, he will um, Reevaluate the existing work in this new benchmark and will show you very surprising results uh, that um, the progress haven't been as uh, reported in the papers. Um, so, so, um, so we are looking forward to um, to meet you and discuss with you uh, in our question and answer sessions. And we will also make, make all the videos and slides available in our uh, tutorial webpage where you can see the link below. Thank you very much and see you.